gorgeous. Oh, oh, do you even see this? Well, the plumping lip liner really is plumping. Let me tell you, I have a few favorites already. Hi friends, I hope you're doing well. I have been organizing my makeup like crazy. And as I've gone through so many products, I have come across things that I'm like, wait a second, this is stunning and no one is talking about it. Or like, I haven't seen anybody try it personally. That's not to say that people haven't tried these. I'm just saying that these are not like mainstream products, at least from what I've consumed. And they look really good. I've set aside some complexion products and eyeshadow palettes that I cannot get over, which actually we're gonna dip into first. This, I don't know, I for some reason I thought that I had already seen this palette. They sent this to me a while back. And a lot of the palettes that I have from them are very like colorful. This is the Oma Beauty Black Magic Color Palette, but it's the Royal Heritage Palette. When I opened this, you guys, my jaw hit the floor. Look at this. I know somebody out there is gonna be like, what, are you kidding me? Look at this, look at these tones. Look at like the shimmer shades at the top. You're kidding me. So we're 100% using this. I'm thrilled. We're gonna start right here with the shade Dahomey. And I'm just gonna take this. I'm so excited about this palette, honestly. Ooh, there's a little mirror protector. Always satisfying to remove. I already prepped my eyelids with some of my NARS smudge proof tinted primer, as always. And I'm just gonna take this color and start to buff it all over in the transition area. I'm genuinely, truly shocked that I did not see this before. And I personally haven't seen anybody that I follow talk about this specific palette. So I am so excited to dip into this. It's already blending out like a dream. Next, I'm gonna dip into the shade Sokoto right here, which is like kind of a more brownish rose. And I'm wanting to kind of smoke out the outer edge of the eye with this. Ooh, how pretty. I'm just dragging that toward like the edge of the brow. These mattes are blending out so beautifully. Okay, I'm gonna kind of swatch a few of these top shades. So we have Isle Life right here. Oh my goodness gracious. Would you look at that? Next to that is the shade called Kush, which has a little bit more of like a copper in it. Next to that is Mali, which looks so cool. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous, like pink with gold reflex. We have Axum after that, which looks like a stunning like molten gold. Oh my gosh, look at that. And then last but not least on that top row is Songhai. I don't know if I'm saying that right, Songhai. But that is what that one looks like. Gorgeous, oh! Clearly, for me personally, out of all these, this middle shade is like calling my name. So we're gonna try that one. I think before we dip into that though, I'm gonna need to use a little bit of this pink, I feel, <laughs> I don't need to, but I want to. I don't even know how to pronounce this one. So I'm not gonna, botch it, but I just feel like we need a little bit of like a hot pink and maybe like the center of the lid to kind of tie in that pink shimmer that I'm wanting to apply. Okay, I'm so excited. All right, we're gonna dip into Mali, which is seriously such a unique color. I've never ever tried anything quite like this. Oh my gosh. The camera is not even gonna be able to pick up what is going on here. Oh, that is spectacular. I'm just gonna apply that same color to the other lid. Do you see this? Do you even see this? I can't stop layering it on and the more I put on, the better it gets. Look, it's like stunning. Oh my gosh, I love this. I'm just gonna take my fluffy brush and kind of dust around the edges of that so that it's nice and blended in. Oh my gosh, I am thrilled about this so far. We are going to now, let me see. You know what? I kind of want to just go for it today. So I'm gonna go in with Abyssina. I hope I'm saying that right. I don't know, it's this dark purple. And I just want a little pop of purple on the outer edge, almost like a shadow liner. So I'm just gonna kind of throw that on the very edge of the eye, just for a little something special. I mean, that shimmer shade is special enough, but just for a little extra fun. All right, I'm taking my makeup wipe and just cleaning up any fallout under the eye. Then I'm gonna just press that in with my fingertip so there's no harsh lines. And then before I move on, I'm gonna pop on a little mascara. I'm gonna use, let's see, what do I wanna use? I'm gonna use my Nabla Vicious Mascara on just the top lashes for now. All right, so we're gonna move on to complexion. This product just looked so good to me and I personally haven't seen people talk about it. It's the Ciate London Dewy Skin Vitamin C Glass Glow Primer. I feel like, wait, have I tried this before? I don't 
think I have. I feel like I would have remembered the packaging. Maybe I have. If I have, it's been a long time. But I really wanted to give this a go. I don't think I have. It's like, it looks like a cream, but it's supposed to give you glass skin. So let's go ahead and try that out. I'm gonna take this on my fingertips and just kind of like massage it into the cheeks. I'm focusing most of this on the very outside of the face. But of course, I do like to put a little bit through the T-zone as well for that glow. I mean, it's pretty glowy. It feels almost like there's an oil in there. I'm interested to see if it dries down at all because if it doesn't, I don't feel like oily skin would really like this. But if it does, maybe it would work for anybody. Okay, it is kind of like drying down and getting a little bit tacky, but you're still gonna have quite a bit of a like emollient balmy feel to the skin, which is interesting. So it's not just glass skin as a look. Um, it does give a very specific texture to the skin, which could be good or bad depending on your skin type and also depending on like the products I use. I'm wanting to use this again. I saw this on my desk and I was like, I need to use this. The Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation from Shiseido. Just gonna put a little bit of that on my hand and I came across this brush in my collection from Hourglass and it's supposed to be for their ambient lighting palettes. But as I was like playing with it, I thought to myself that could be gorgeous as a foundation brush. I don't know, just like the texture of this. So I'm gonna try it out as a foundation brush today. Even though it's a little bit smaller, that's kind of what I liked about it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over right on top of that glass skin primer. I actually really like the size of this for applying foundation because I feel like I can get in between my brows, around the brow a little bit. Like sometimes if my foundation brushes are too big, I accidentally stamp my brows over. Anyway, it's looking really pretty. I will say, I feel like I still do need a sponge. So I'm just gonna pick up what's left on the back of my hand and just press this into the skin using my sponge. I'm hoping that the primer and the foundation will mesh. The primer had a very specific texture to it. So depending on what the base of the primer is and the foundation is, it could go one of two ways. It seems to be meshing okay at the moment. I'm just gonna use a bit of cream bronzer. This one is from Say Beauty. It's the Sun Melt in the shade Fair Bronze. I'm just gonna pop on a little bit of concealer. This one is my Givenchy Prism Libre Concealer. So I feel like the primer is definitely giving a very glass skin-like finish to my complexion. We'll see how it looks underneath powder as well, because I do like to powder my face, especially when I have, you know, more of an oily T-zone. So maybe next time I wouldn't put the glass primer like all over the face, <laughs> but here we are. I still think it looks really pretty and I like the overall glow. So let me just set my under eyes with some powder and the T-zone, I guess, as well. This is the Anastasia powder in the shade vanilla. I'm going back in with Dahomey and I'm taking this across the lower lash line. Then I'm mixing these two colors on a smaller brush and buffing that across the lower lash line as well. I think these shades are so pretty and so fun and flattering. I'm going back in with my fluffy brush and just kind of like buffing those colors in together even more. Okay, this is actually working really well as an inner corner highlight. I'm taking the shade Isle Life and kind of packing that in the inner corner. And then even though it's pretty glittery, I'm taking that Mally shade, just putting a bit of that across the lower lash line as well. And then we'll finish up the eye look with a little more of the Nabla mascara just on the lower lashes. This eyeshadow is so pretty. All right, in addition to the Oma Beauty palette, I also wanted to try out some of these cream blushes from Uoma by Sharon C, which is like the more affordable line from Uoma. So I'm looking at the eyes and I'm like, should we layer these two? Here's this color. It looks really intimidating in the pan. I'm just gonna kind of feel the formula before going into this. Okay, so it's very pigmented. It kind of has like a matte finish and look when you blur it out, how pretty that is. So a little is gonna go a long way for this color, on me anyway, but I wanna try it. I don't know, something's making me wanna try this. So I'm gonna start with this color and I'm gonna take it on my sponge just a tiny bit and then kind of like dab it out on the back of my hand until it looks very, very evenly distributed. And then I'm just gonna smile and kind of start to gently stamp that into the cheeks. If I use a light layer, it actually looks very pink and kind of matches the eyeshadow. I'm just flipping over the sponge and kind of going around the edges so that it looks like it's coming from the skin. That's honestly so pretty. Okay, I wanna try this color. Oh, did I even tell you what shade this is? Certified Lover. 
is this one. These are the Flawless in Real Life blushes, by the way. And this peachy one is called Bougie AF. So let me see if I can get this sticker off. It's really hard, actually. I need tweezers, but I don't see where mine went. All right, there we go. All right, this one, let's kind of play with this color. Oh, okay, so this one's like almost like a gold highlighter. It doesn't really have much pigment in there. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on the same sponge. And let's just kind of like tap that into the higher points of the cheek to act as like a little bit of a peachy glow product. I'm just gonna press that back into the complexion with the other side of my sponge after applying it. I like that. It kind of gives like a cheek stain kind of a look. I mean, on me, you could really build this up if you wanted to, or if you have a deeper skin tone than me, it would really, really show up nicely. But all I needed was just a tiny bit for it to really show up on me and I really like how it looks. I'm gonna take the other side of the hourglass brush with a little bit more Anastasia powder and I'm just making sure that the T-zone doesn't get too glowy. All right, even though Too Faced is a very talked about brand, I haven't seen anybody personally talk about these. The Lip Injection Extreme Lip Shapers and there's one shade specifically that like is calling my name and it's called Puffy Nude. These are supposed to be like plumping lip liners, which is kind of fun. It, it kind of has a weird packaging. It's a click up, but it's like straight across. So you don't really get crazy precision. It smells like their lip injection glosses and it's actually starting to tingle like those as well, which is interesting. We'll let that sit and I'll keep you guys posted on how it's feeling. Also came across these three glosses from Laura Lee Los Angeles and I opened one of them and I was like, wait, that's so pretty. So I wanted to kind of show you guys all three and pick one for this look. I think it'll pair so perfectly with the eyeshadow actually. Wow, these are beautiful. Look at these, how cute. So we have this one, which is like sparkling iris. How gorgeous, it's like a topper kind of a color. We have nude blossom, which is a gorgeous light nude. And then this one is rose glimmer, which is like the vibe of my eyeshadow. Kind of leaning toward this one because of that. Oh my gosh, I was like twisting it open, but it's actually just a magnetic cap and closure. Look at that, that's innovative. All right, I'm just gonna go in with Rose Glimmer. By the way, my lips are feeling plump. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go ahead and take this and pop that in the center of the lips. This has like a bubble gum scent to it. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. The lip liner is like plumping. I can feel it. Here's that gloss. Gorgeous, not sticky whatsoever. And I love the subtle little bit of sparkle. Once it's applied though, it doesn't feel chunky. Like you can't feel the glitter in it, which is nice. Pretty. Look at that lip combo. Well, the plumping lip liner really is plumping. I'll tell you that much. It's all I can think about right now. <laughs> all right, well, the lip plumper is plumping. I am going to assess the situation, which I feel like I look so glowy. Cute. I mean, the glass skin primer probably is a key player, which maybe I used a little bit too much, but oh well. You live and you learn. I'm just gonna take my Milani Silky Matte Bronzer. I just feel like I need a little powder bronzer here. Just balance out the forehead a little. And then taking that along the jawline and down the neck too. They weren't playing with those lip liners. Like you actually feel them plumping your lips. Do my lips look more plump? I mean, besides the gloss on there? I don't know. Definitely feel like they feel larger. <laughs> just taking my powder puff and going through the T-zone again. And then I feel like I like where everything's at. I don't think I need a setting spray because everything looks very dewy on the side of my face. I've been really into the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel lately. So I'm just gonna use that to set the brows into place. Let me tell you, I have a few favorites already. The eyeshadow palette, can you see this, you guys? The eyeshadow really is so special. I'm so glad that I like opened this up because I have never seen this palette before, literally today, and here we are. And it's so pretty, obsessed with all these gorgeous topper textures. That's just what I'm into when it comes to an eyeshadow palette. And I love my mattes as well. So I love that that's all you get in here really because that's all I ever use on myself are those two textures usually. Really, really excited about that. The Dewy Skin Primer, I mean, it's gonna give you dewy skin. I do feel like I went a little overboard with that, okay? So less is more with that, and if you have oily skin, you probably won't like it, or you're gonna need to target on just the areas where you want that extra glow. The Oma by Sharon C Blush, honestly, this one is so pretty once it's on. This kind of gave like a cute little glow, 
which I like, but I feel like because of the um, glowy primer, maybe it wasn't necessary. So out of the two, I'm really excited about this, which it looks insane in the pan. And when I first washed it, it was actually like super pigmented to where I wasn't sure if it would look like too much, but with the right amount of product, I think it looks really gorgeous all over. The lip liner from Too Faced, oh my gosh. I mean, it's still burning, <laughs> like it still feels very plumping. So if you don't like that feeling, you won't like this lip liner. I will say you don't get too much precision, but because they're very blurring and very nude colors, I mean, maybe it is supposed to be more of a blurring kind of a lip liner so that you get more of that lip injection type of a look. Very interesting. I I'm excited to see like if I notice a difference with this, um, but it's just a very unique sensation for me because I've never actually tried an actually plumping lip liner. Like it's very obviously plumping, which is interesting. And then the Laura Lee glosses. I mean, this is so pretty all over the lips. Packaging is gorgeous. I just wanna keep applying it. How nice are those? That was a win for me as well. So, so far I'm really into, I would say this Uoma palette, this little blush right here from Uoma by Sharon C, which is called Certified Lover. So those two, loving. And then I would say the gloss. Those are the things that I'm like, you know what? I am so happy I tried these. Everything else looks really cute, really pretty. I just think I need more time with them to like give you my full opinion, you know? But I love this look and I hope you guys do too. It's been a while since I've done like pinks on the eyes, like rosy, almost maroon tones on the eyes and the cheeks. So this was fun for me. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you've tried any of these products because again, I know that even though I feel like I haven't seen people talk about them, maybe you guys are like, what do you mean? I love that product. So if that's you, I would love to hear in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and definitely check out the eyeshadow palette, okay? That is something worth looking into because these textures are just so pretty. I'm very excited about it. That's it for me today. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you, bye.